Hey, hello, my friend. Welcome to another video. Super excited to see you. Let's talk about how to plan for 2024. Let's talk about the five areas that I believe every artist needs to sit down at the end of the year and plan for in the next year in order to succeed, in order to achieve uh, the things that you want to take your art career to the next level, in order to also create smart goals for your art career. So that's what we're going to tackle. Uh, at the very end, particularly some very, uh, very uh, important information I want to share with you, uh, particularly a brand new webinar that I created that's totally free. I'm doing with Dr. Ana Gomez to help you in this area. So you don't want to miss that. It's going to be really great. My name is Sergio Gomez. I'm an artist, curator, gallery owner, author and co-founder of the Art Next Level program. And my goal with this channel is to make marketing and art business easy so that you can grow your art career, find new opportunities, sell more art, and spend more time creating in the studio. So if you like that, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell so that you receive notifications of our future videos. A quick life update. Now I am finally, finally settled here in Miami area. And well, my friends, has been long. You know, uh, you may have noticed that I've been absent for quite a few weeks, and that is because uh, we've been so busy uh, traveling, uh, packing, and then uh, moving, and then unpacking, and then right after that, we landed here in uh, Miami area, and then we had to prepare for Arabaso, where I was uh, there with my gallery, Territory Contemporary, with uh, Context on Miami. So we were there for a whole week, and it was really fun. Thank you to everyone who stopped at the, at the booth and say hello. It was really fun, really, really, uh, really exciting, very successful fair. And so it's been hectic. It's been really crazy. But now I get to finally come back home to my new office here in Miami and sit down and spend some time with you talking about planning for the new year, which, as you guys know, I love to plan. I love to sit down and think strategically right, and achieve uh, the goals that I'm putting for myself, which, you know, the fact that we are here in Miami area is because we had planned this for quite a few years, and we had created a plan to get to here for very specific reasons, and, you know, those things happen because we plan, because we put things forward and in order so that they, they do happen, and my friend, I want to help you out today, because there are five strategic things that every artist should sit down to look at you know, for the new year. Normally, if you're watching this video or listening to the podcast in 2023 or 2024 or 2025, this information is timeless. It will help you have better goals. It doesn't matter if you're actually watching this or listening to this in August, <laughs> you know. All this information will help you be more successful in the future because the future starts here, starts right now. It doesn't start in some, you know, uh, vague number uh, ahead of us. It starts right now. Uh, whatever you are planning today, you know, then you can already start taking action that will help you, you know, to achieve greater success in tomorrow. So the first thing that you need to sit down and work on is your mindset. Yes, your mindset is very important for the artist. You know, this is something that I have learned over the years, particularly from Dr. Ana Gomez. She's my wife and uh, she's a psychologist. Uh, she has a PhD in psychology. She has done all kinds of additional coursework as well and studies and uh, human behavior. And, you know, it's so important what's in our mind. So important for us artists to understand what happens inside of our heads. What are the stories that we keep repeating to ourselves? What are the narratives that year after year after year we've been carrying for, I don't know, for how long? What are the narratives that we need to stop believing and what are the narratives that we need to start, you know, uh, changing uh, that narrative, editing, uh, curating that narrative so that your mindset changes in focus. And that is very important, my friend, because I never thought about that, you know, until a few years uh, after I married my wife. And, you know, we have began talking about this. And then as we began to coaching, you know, hundreds of artists, now thousands of artists from around the world of the last seven, eight years, it's been so fascinating to see, you know, the importance of our mind, what we believe on. You got to start the year believing that there's something for you that is accessible in the new year. You got to start the year believing, believing that there's something for you, that you are an artist on a mission, that you have a place in this world, that you have a seat on the table, that you have a mission that only you can accomplish 
when you do your work as an artist. You may know your mission very clearly. You may not know your mission very clearly, and that is okay. You know, that mission will happen, will start taking place when you walk yourself into that studio. So my friend, I invite you, you know, to take the time to think about that. You know, take a piece of paper, uh, do a walk, go into nature, whatever helps you to remove yourself from social media, from Instagram, from other people, from your partner, your kids, and just take some moment to, to ask yourself, you know, those tough questions. What, is the, what are the narratives I keep repeating to myself? What are the narratives I need to, to change and conquer? What is the neg- what negative, negative, <laughs> what negative thinking patterns do I have that I need to overcome uh, that can help me, you know, get where I need to be? A lot of times, and this I, I believe 100%, uh, a lot of times we as artists, we are our biggest obstacles in order to achieve the success that we want and that we deserve. A lot of times, it's our mind that gets on the way, not other people, not the opportunities, not the galleries. Other times it's our mind. When you're able to put positive thinking, when you're able to start your day with positivity, with knowing, believing that there's something out there for you, that there's a treasure waiting for you, you're going to do the impossible to find it together. But you got to believe. So first thing, my friend, is mindset. Second thing that I think you need to really look at when it comes to your goals for the new year is your finances. Unfortunately, there are so many artists who have no idea how their money is spent and they have no idea how the money is coming in, (laughs) right? They don't know how much they're spending on on art supplies. I mean, they know it in the moment, but they they don't have any idea as the year ends, you know, what their numbers were for the entire year. That's what you need to know, right? Where the money went and where the money came from so that you can plan for the new year so that you can budget for the new year and think about based on last year's expenses and income, I'm going to do some projections and I'm going to do some changes in my habits, my, uh, you know, how I spend my money, uh, how I use my money, how I also make money so that I can achieve this new budget, these new goals that I'm putting for myself. And it's very important. That's something that only you can do because only you know your numbers or maybe you do not know your numbers. So you need to sit down and start there looking at your numbers. So you don't have to do a super detailed budget. Just have an idea. Just have an idea. I cannot believe how many artists, you cannot believe how many artists I talk to who said, Sergio, once I did this uh, that you told me to do, which is going through your numbers, I didn't know that I was spending so much money uh, you know, applying for, uh, you know, calls for artists. I spent over $500 on calls for artists. That's insane. And, and I always say yes, because you did not budget how much you were going to spend on artist calls, calls for artists, right? When you put a number, you say, okay, next year, I'm only going to spend 300 So that means you are more careful to what opportunities you apply to that they're going to charge you for, you know, for that, right? You are more careful because you know that you have a budget. Same if you want to, let's say next year you want to do an art fair and it's gonna cost you, you know, $2,000. Well, then you can budget for that and you can plan ahead. You say, okay, what are the things that I need to watch for? How can I make more money in order to do that, in order to pay for that art fair? So you gotta know your finances. The third thing every artist need to do, you know, as we begin the new year or as we end one year, is to look at your marketing and sales. And by this, I mean, you got to plan your marketing. A lot of artists don't plan their marketing. They just, okay, I'm just going to go and post something, right? Because Sergio tells me I need to be posting or because I saw some other guru that told me I need to be on social media all the time posting. You know, that is not planning. That's just doing things because you see everybody else doing them, but there's no rhyme or reason why you do it. I believe every piece of marketing should have an objective, right? You need to know why you're doing what you are doing. What is the purpose? If you don't, ha- if you don't know the purpose, you will not experience success because you don't know what success looks like because you don't have it defined, right, Uh, in that case. So when I talk about marketing and sales, I'm talking about start the year, pull your calendar and say, what kind of promotions, offers do I want to give to my audience, to my collectors, to my followers this year? You know, what are some of the key things that I want to promote 
uh, that can help me make more sales and make more money, increase my revenue in the, in the new year. If you don't plan that, you're leaving it everything for a chance. So make sure you do that, my friend. It's going to help you out. Believe me, it's going to make a huge difference in your career when you plan your marketing and sales. Next thing, which is your fourth area, and we have five, the fourth area uh, is your exposure. You know, how you plan to take your art from your studio out into the world. What are you planning to do? What type of shows you want to apply? What type of galleries you want to approach? What type of networking events you're going to attend? You know, who are the people you want to connect to? Who are the key individuals that you really need to touch base with in 2024 in order to you know, find better opportunities for your art to meet the world? You got to plan that again. You know, a lot of artists do not plan it. And maybe you don't. Maybe you have never done so. You're like, oh, I'm just looking and see what opportunities I get throughout the year. And that is awesome. Opportunities will come. But you also need to plan for opportunities that you can create. And I always say there's two types of people. There's a person who says, there are no opportunities for me, so I'm going to sit down and wait. And there's the other person who says, you know what? I don't see any opportunities coming, so I'm going to get up and make my own. And that's what I'm talking about. A planner will get up and do his or her own opportunities. And then there's a third person, which is above the two, which is becomes an opportunity maker. Somebody who not only gets up and makes opportunities for himself or herself, but also makes opportunities for others. And that is amazing when you get to that reach, to, to get to reach that point. And I, I wish you can, you can do that in this new year. So my friend, you, you got to plan for those things. You know, how you plan to increase your exposure. How do you plan to get your art from your studio out into the world? And that is very important. And the last one, my friend, number five, which I think is the most important in terms of making the other four possible, is your organization. Your organization. You can have the most amazing goals, the most beautiful plan of action, most amazing budget in the world. But if you do not know how to organize yourself in the new year, if you don't know how to say no to the things that are distracting, you have to say yes to the bigger opportunities that can pile up and do amazing things in your career. In the long run, when you learn to see, you know, beyond the immediate, you know, you will not have success. Organization is very important. Organization is what allows you to work with focus, with determination, uh, with also at the same time with enthusiasm. Uh, and allows you to not to feel overwhelmed. The reality is because, you know, I work with hundreds of artists uh, always at the beginning of the year, you know, helping them with their goals. And I see this happening all the time. They start excited, they make their goals, they make their plans, but they fail on this one, organization. So by March, April, they are already all over the place. That little amazing goal plan, it's, all, you know, under five books, <laughs> you know, or it's in the studio somewhere, you know, because they didn't have the organizational skills in order to make the appropriate changes in their life and habits so that they can achieve the goals that they want to achieve in the new year. And unfortunately, like I said earlier, we as artists often, we are, you know, the number one obstacles uh, to achieve on our career because of our mindset and also because uh, of our habits and our organization skills or lack of organization skills. So that's super important, my friend. Uh, mindset, finances, marketing and sales, exposure and organization, five areas in your career that you need to look at very carefully, you know, in the new year. And my friend, to help you out, there are two things that I'm super doing and uh, you should uh, really pay attention to this. I'm doing a totally free webinar, a 100% free webinar where I'm going over all these five things, giving you specific tips on how you can apply these things, things that you can do for your art career, things to plan smart, to create smart goals, you know, in the new year. So it's a totally free goal setting webinar um, that, uh, you know, shares the top secrets that I've been uh, doing myself, you know, and also I'm sharing kind of what I'm doing for the next year. So you have also an idea of, uh, of kind of what I, how I, how I think of my art career, and hopefully this can help you, my friend. It's going to be free, and all you gotta do is, uh, you know, just go to the link that you'll find under this video, theartistnextlevel.com/2024. Sign up. It's a free webinar. Now, if you happen to get it and the webinar has already ended, you know, it's no big deal because it's going to be recorded, so you'll be able to watch the replay. So there's no, you know, you will not miss any 
amazing information because you were not there live. I'm going to record it from start to end so you can watch it totally free, no strings attached. You can watch the whole thing as many times as you want. Um, and uh, all you got to do is uh, go to the link, theartistnextlevel.com, Rush 2024. And once you do that, and if you are super ready, say, you know what, Sergio, I really want to get a hold of this business plan. I really want to create a business plan that's going to help me out. Uh, and uh, I can use your accountability, your coaching, you know, to get this going, to get it started the first couple of months of the year, January and February. You can join my uh, coaching program, the artist level, because we're going to start with our business growth a challenge our business grow challenge we kick off in january and you can take that challenge to take your art career to the next level we can apply all these five different things you know to create a, a very strong foundation for your art business you don't have a business if you don't have a strong mindset if you don't know your finances if you don't have a marketing plan uh, that creates more revenue for you uh, if you don't know how to get out there and if you're not organized all you have is a wish a wishful thinking so I hope you can see this, my friend. I hope you can join me and we'll see you in the next episode because my dog is barking, somebody's at the door and I have to go get it. Goodbye. But well, wait, before you leave this video, if you are an artist who wants to grow your art career and wants to achieve greater success, make sure you check out the Art Next Level program. You will find a link under this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the next video that we have recommended just for you.